Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 27th of June. Had some pretty decent afternoon storms over the weekend. Will we have more today? Let's see. We'll take a look at some of the uh, Skycam shots around the network this morning. We'll start from Demopolis in Marengo County, where the sky is mostly clear. That's the view coming from the uh, Demopolis Civic Center looking back off to the east. Over the weekend, we saw that huge wildfire down in Gulf Shores. That's the uh, sky cam on top of the Phoenix All Suites looking back to the east. And quite frankly, I don't know if what you see on the eastern horizon is leftover smoke from that fire, which is contained and under control, or if those are some clouds. We'll go over to the uh, Dauphin Island uh, sky cam over in the southern tip of Mobile County. And again, we do see some clouds in that sky cam shot. So I think what we saw from Gulf Shores was cloud cover. But again, we'll review that later this morning, get more information on that. But that thing at one point consumed a whole bunch of acres around Gulf Shores State Park over the weekend. And just a reminder, there is a no-burn order remain, remaining in effect statewide despite the afternoon storms we've had. All right, there's the water vapor satellite shot this morning. You can see the uh, heat ridge over the south-central U.S. centered over Texas, and you can see how we're kind of on the eastern periphery of that thing in these uh, uh, MCS areas keep rolling down the eastern flank of that like we had yesterday, producing uh, some high winds and knocking down trees and power lines. And uh, there's the MCS, the morning up north, that's over uh, Missouri, uh, producing a lot of lightning, heavy rain around Kansas City, Columbia, Jefferson City, and Springfield. That's dropping south. We'll keep an eye on that. And uh, that one will probably miss us a little to the north and east, but that thing will be laid, uh, putting down an outflow boundary that might initiate new storms later today. And certainly there's some risk of storms this afternoon, but they should be pretty scattered, we think, unless one of these things plows through. And, of course, uh, hot weather continues out west. Look at those numbers. It looks like the peak heat was about 111 out there around Gage, Oklahoma, and Amarillo, Texas. That's nasty heat. Uh, Phoenix, Arizona doing about 110. And around here, you can see how the uh, highs were only in the upper 80s over extreme north Alabama with 90s to the south. And uh, we'll see, you know, mid-90s today for sure. But hopefully, you know, we'll see those cooling afternoon storms to knock things down like they did yesterday. Uh, there's the uh, watch warning map. We've got a severe thunderstorm watch up there for that MCS over Missouri and some flash flood watches as well. We peek at the radar this morning just for the fun of it here while we're looking at some data. That's uh, the Birmingham radar at 516. We note a thunderstorm down there over Bullock County around Union Springs, southeast of Montgomery. Uh, those won't affect us. Those seem to be on the outflow of the storms we had yesterday. Check the convective outlook for today. Got the uh, standard slight risk just north of us, Tennessee and points north. Tomorrow, there is a slight risk over North Alabama. And that is due to a weak surface boundary. Notice we don't call them cold fronts this time of the year because they're really not in the classic sense. But a dry line, if you will, pushes in here. And that could set off an organized batch of storms perhaps tomorrow afternoon. And on day three, which is Wednesday, just a slight risk way up north over parts of uh, Montana. Check the QPF chart. This is the uh, rain balance through Friday evening at 7 and if that's right, if you smooth out the rain, that would suggest rainfall amounts of about one inch here in spots. But, you know, it's hit and miss. For example, yesterday in the Birmingham Metro, some folks had nothing. Some folks had almost two inches just in one hour. Uh, but we, we think really after tomorrow, the, the storm should be fewer in number over the latter half of this week. Uh, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Tropical weather. Uh, the old... Circle guys have a circle going there uh, over the Yucatan. You know, the, the GFS has been hinting at something developing down there for a while. And uh, there's a look at it, uh, just a broad load that's around the Yucatan Peninsula. And that's kind of drifting west-northwest. That would put it back over the Bay of Campeche. And, you know, the GFS has tried to push that thing toward the northern coast of Mexico or maybe extreme south Texas. We'll keep an eye on that, but it should not be an issue here. We'll check the GFS. This is the OZ run at 1 o'clock today, 594 heat ring. Right over Dallas-Fort Worth and Lubbock, Texas and El Paso. That's where it's really hot. And again, we got a northerly flow aloft here. We're kind of on the periphery of that. So that the door is open for 
Those uh, thunderstorm areas north of us to, to kind of cruise through here. The GFS looks pretty dry this afternoon, but then again, these synoptic scale models are not very helpful in summer convection, I'll just tell you. Uh, we'll, we'll mention a chance of a storm in a few spots today. We don't think it will be as organized as yesterday, but again, we'll watch radar trends. Mid-90s. Now, tomorrow, there's that surface boundary coming in here, and it, you'd think there would be a general increase in convection tomorrow. So low to mid-90s, maybe scattered to numerous showers and storms by afternoon. Those storms could be strong to severe, and like most summer storms, the main threat, hail and strong winds. Tornadoes are very unlikely in the summer here. Wednesday, look what the GFS tries to do. It tries to get us in dry air, and that's going to lower the dew points, which is good. They're not going to knock down the heat any. We'll still do mid-90s, but at least it won't be quite as humid. And if that's right, any convection should be south of Montgomery. And there's Thursday. We do have a northerly flow aloft here. And uh, down below that, the GFS has us in dry air. And if this is right, Thursday would be mostly sunny with low to mid-90s and no chance of rain. And really the same thing on Friday. So you're, it is a very dangerous thing to do, not to mention any chance of an afternoon storm. But it sure looks like they're going to be awfully hard to find Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. All right, Saturday, we're going to kick off the 4th of July weekend. And the GFS looks pretty dry, but again, I wouldn't be shocked if we saw an afternoon storm. And again, down in the uh, southwestern Gulf, we, we kind of keep, I didn't mention that, but the GFS has kind of backed off on the idea of any organized tropical storm down there. Uh, there's Sunday, and again, it's that time of the year where these synoptic scale maps don't mean a whole lot. Uh, I think we had better mention at least the chance of an afternoon storm, very typical summer stuff. You got something planned for the 4th of July weekend. Highs, uh, you know, mid-90s. And there's Monday. Again, the, the, we got a weakness in the ridge with a trough north of us, and that would suggest a general increase in convection for Monday, the 4th of July. A lot of folks had that day off, and again, the southwestern Gulf stays unsettled. We'll out there toward July 8th. Again, there's a general weakness in the ridging here with a trough, and that looks kind of moist, muggy, scattered to numerous showers and storms. Into the forecast, July 12th, same thing. The, the, the highest heights are way west over the four corners, whether you see the 594 circle, and that suggests, uh, you know, hot, steamy, scattered showers and storms type stuff out there. So, again, it, it looks like the most intense heat will be to the west of us for the next 15 days, but certainly it's going to be hot enough. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful Monday and God bless. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.